see it, but I, but I, oh, it's a mother deer, deer with two fawns. Oh, they're so adorable. But one of them fell down and the other one's by the tree and the mother just ran off. Why would the mother just run off and leave the babies alone? It's not like I'm a predator. It's all that dumb dog's fault. If the dog wasn't barking and the mother there wouldn't have ran away. The other one that fell, fell is not getting back up. I want to go over for to see if it's okay, okay, but but I know if I touch it, uh, I know know if I touch that baby deer, deer that just fell, so the mother bear will not come back and get it after it's been touched by humans. I know that, but ugh, stupid dog, I just hope, I just hope that it's okay. <laughs> <sighs> the poor baby, the poor baby deer. <sighs> oh, I think that's the one that fell, fell down. I'm not sure, sure, but the only one way to find out that's a trespass, which I'm not even going to bother. There's one of the babies. It's right there. Oh, so cute. Unless that's the mama. I'm not really sure. Hop. There's one of the babies. Hop. Two of them. Two babies. Oh, they're so cute. Their mama must be, must be in the thickets over there. But they're real. They're moving. Whew. This is a rare, rare sight. Really rare. Wow. Two baby deers. Wow. Incredible sight. Two baby deer, they're in broad daylight. Wow. Looks like they were born a couple of days ago, ago or a week ago, but wow. Wow. Now they're looking for their mom. Mom that ran off a few moments ago. Oh, they're following. They're following her scent. Wow. Rare, rare sight. They're in the thicket. That was just amazing. Seeing a mama and two babies. Now that's an amazing sight. And I think that's the mother over there. Unless that's a tree. I'm not sure. Too bad you guys weren't out here to see it. <laughs> Mama and two babies. Such a rare, such a rare sight indeed. 
There they are. They're moving in the thicket. That means their mom's close by. I I want to touch them, but I can't. I am pretty sure their mother there ran off that that way, but oh, I just saw the mama. The mother's tail, that is. Wow. They're coming towards me. <laughs> They're so adorable. Not sure if they're both female or both male. Yeah, but they're so cute. Uh oh. One of them is literally walking my way. What should I do? Now the other one's coming! What the heck? Your mother went that way! The mother must have thought, thought I was a coyote or something. And just ran off. This is a rare and unique sight. Two babies. Uh, where'd the other one go? Uh oh. <laughs> it's coming right at me. There's the other one. The smallest one must be female. The bigger one must be male. There's the male, but there's the little female. And I think I hear the mama calling for them, and they're too confused. But this is indeed a rare sight. I'm like five feet away from them. Their mother took off that way. I think I hear her calling them, but they're too confused. Yeah. Yeah, I think think the bigger one's male and the smaller one's female. And the male is just staring, right? at me. So is the little female. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt ya. I'm not even gonna touch you. <laughs> but they're just so cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna back off. Slowly. I'm not sh sure where their mother is, but she just ran off, leaving them. <sighs> oh, the little female's moving. The male just lay down. Following the little female. The little male smart, he's hiding. Oh, now he's getting up. Huh. 
The male has stripes on the back of his neck. So does the little female. Uh-oh. The female is walking right towards me. The male's looking at me, so is the female. I'm not sure why, but... But I know if I touch them, their mom won't accept them back. She has a human scent. Too adorable. And the female is just standing there. The male's smart and moving on back. <laughs> now I'm pretty much going to see where their mom went. But this was a rare, rare sight. It really was. Really a rare sight. Oh. They were just too cute. cute. But I did not touch them. I didn't. I suppressed my urge of temptation. Just rare, rare in your guys' case. Really rare. Okay, I don't hear the mama calling. I heard her earlier, but but she thinks her babies are dead when they're not. Now I feel like Steve Irwin. <laughs> is that a bad thing? To feel like Steve Irwin, is it really bad? And the female is still standing there. And I think I see the mama way back there. Hey, look! Little doe! Your brother went that way! Hello! Little Miss Doe Cotton Headlights! She must be scared. Of course she's not gonna move. She's scared of her wits. Why don't you call for your mama? What's the matter, little doe? Huh? What's the matter? Hmm. I really don't know what's the matter there with this little female. Just look at her. And she's just standing there. There, are like a deer caught in headlights. No offense to you, little deer, but that's what you look like. Poor little thing. The little male's lying down. Oh, actually, right there. Female's right there. 
I think they're confusing me with their mom. I go, aww. Because they normally don't move until I say that. These poor babies. Oh, here comes the mama. Back off. Whoa. What's that? Cat? And there's the mama. It's okay, mama. I didn't touch them. It's okay. Whoa. Just saw the mama chase a big fat furry cat that went that way. Whoa. Wow. The mama didn't attack me for some odd reason. I don't know why. There she is. So graceful. I'm not sure why the mama didn't attack me. Maybe because I was close to babies. But she didn't. Maybe she sensed, sensed that, that I wouldn't harm them. But... I thought... When I saw the, saw the dash of gray, I thought it was a fox or something, something, but it was a cat. Big fat cat. Whoa. I'm surprised, surprised that, that the babies weren't phased by it. Because, well, those still there, male still lying there. Huh. And I see the mama way back there still, so unless that's a whole herd. But I don't want to find out. <laughs> Still, that was freaking awesome! So, Mama Deer chased a freaking cat. Cat, the Mama Deer saw me. Saw me this close to her babies. And she didn't even attack me. Like normal Mom Deer do. But that... Oh... That was freaking awesome! Really? Wow. Wow. I really thought that cat was a fox. <sighs> Curse me. Curse me for, for misidentification. I'm not sure why, why, but that mama deer did not. I'm not sure, sure why she didn't attack me. Perhaps I have a trusting aura for, for animals. Because in Belvedere, I played with a freaking fox. The fox was playing with me. Clearly playing with me. It seemed like the fox in Belvedere was leading me somewhere. Whew. Man. <laughs> that was a little bit exhilarating slash scary. <laughs> I think that fat cat was trying to get a very, very big meal. <laughs> oh, the smell of flowers. Oh, they smell so good. They smell so good, but yet they're making me nauseous.
perhaps I didn't. Oh, that's right. I forgot to eat. Here we go, down the hill, near the museum. Wow! <laughs> wow. And to think a year ago, there was a deer face staring at me right down there. And a year ago in winter, I saw like five deer, two going that way, the other three going that way, and I saw their, their bedding imprint. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all for this recording.